Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be doing another toe video, but first we are getting into today's video by sharing with you guys the Symphony McCart Dust Collector. My husband actually purchased this for me. I have been working from home quite a bit now that the baby's getting older and she's very, very active. It makes it really hard for me to go to the salon. So in order to keep my area nice and clean, he actually ordered this for me. I'm so excited that he did. It's super, super sleek. I love the look of it. The white color is obviously one of my go-to so definitely appreciate that as well it's nice and tiny and it's rechargeable you guys i absolutely love rechargeable stuff so i'm here to share all my thoughts and all that good stuff with you guys but it is definitely so far so good love it we are gonna get right into the toe video i am starting off by using my kiara sky rechargeable e-file i have my e-file at a speed of about nine to ten thousand rpms and i'm just starting off by filing off my current design i did show a video doing this design if you guys missed it and you guys are interested in checking it out go ahead and do that but for this process, I'm just using this bit from Not Polish. It is nice and rounded at the top, so it makes it super safety. I absolutely love safety bits, so definitely recommend this one. I believe it is medium grid. And I'm just going to go ahead and remove the design. I do have poly gel on my big toe. If you guys have missed that as well, I went ahead and added poly gel to my big toe because I always end up cracking it somehow, some way. I did go a little bit without trimming my toenails, so I am just going to go ahead and take the e-file very carefully, just trim them down very gently. And as you can see, they already look so much better. I love redoing my toes. I love a clean, perfect gel toe. So I'm definitely excited to be redoing them. I feel like as soon as they start growing out, I do not like my toenails. So I'm going to also go ahead and file down the existing gel polish that I have. I would do a soak off, but I'm kind of in a time crunch. So we're just going to go ahead and file it off. I feel like that process takes a little bit longer. So just to speed up the process, I went ahead and just file it off with the same bit. I am obviously being very, very careful. I still have my speed of about nine to 10,000 RPMs, but I'm just making sure that as soon as I see some of my natural nail exposed, I just leave that area alone and move to another part of the toenail. I do not want to overfile my natural nail. Your toenails are extremely sensitive, so definitely be very, very careful when doing this process. I'm just going to go ahead and finish that on the rest of the toes, and then we're going to get into our natural nail prep. And once I feel that I got as much as I could without damaging my natural nail, I'm actually switching over to my mandrel bit. This one is from Kiara Sky. Along with that, I'm using the Profiles Backstage Sanding Bands in the medium grit. They're the purple ones, as you can tell. And I'm just gonna start off by buffing off the shine from my natural toenail. And I am also just going around and making sure that I don't have any lifting on the poly gel, which we were perfect on that. So I didn't have to do too much filing otherwise I would go ahead and remove the lifting all in that same process now I'm going in and buffing the shine off of the natural nail but I'm still going over that gel polish just very carefully because it will also help fully remove the rest of it off I am leaving just some specks of the gel polish on there because I'm not too concerned about it I'm gonna go over it with the same color and then I'm just gonna go ahead and file my nails down what I'm using is the not polish file and I'm just going to go ahead and basically reshape them a little bit. I have been trimming my toenails down every time that they grow out a little bit except for my big toe. So that was the only one that I had to like overly trim. These ones I'm just basically squaring them off at the tip. I like when they are nice and squared. Just my personal preference but if you like them rounded go ahead and do that at this point.
Now I don't have my needle bit here at my house, but I'm gonna be using this diamond bit. It's like a cone shape. And I will leave that link down below. It's from Profiles Backstage, but I'm not quite sure the exact name of it. So I'm just going in and removing any excess dead skin from around that cuticle area. And I'm actually going underneath my toenail as well. Just in case there's any type of anything under there, I could go ahead and remove it at this point. And I'm just going to go in again on the rest of my toenails, just gently filing around that cuticle area. Now I'm going to go in with my cuticle ball bit, also from Profiles Backstage. And I'm just very carefully buffing off the dead skin and any little areas that I have that's kind of dry around the tip of my toenail. I go ahead and file that part as well because it's just going to buff it into like the super smooth skin that you want. And it just makes everything look super, super clean. And if I didn't mention it earlier, I have my e-file at a speed of 4,000 RPMs for all of my natural nail prep. Now, because I am at my house, I'm using a paper towel and some alcohol. I feel like it serves the same purpose as my Young Nails Swipe. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean off the surface of my toenails and dehydrate the nail very so gently. I'm gonna be using this poly gel applicator and brush from McCart. It is from one of their kits and I love the color on it. Super, super cute. I'll leave that linked down below. And I'm also using the same kit's base gel for this application. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some on my big toe, cure that for a minute. And then we're gonna go in with the white poly gel from McCart, add some base gel to it, and then some to my brush. And I use that as my slip solution. I feel like it works the best from my personal opinion. I am able to flawlessly place it on there without getting it super sticky and it just works a lot better in my opinion. So if you're struggling with poly gel, try the base coat. I've mentioned it before in my poly gel videos. So hopefully that helps. I have become obsessed with this application process on my toes. So definitely recommend it if you guys are struggling. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start patting it in, pushing it up towards the cuticle area, and then I'm just patting it. I'm using a patting motion while also very, very gently just dragging it into the direction that I want it to go, working my way towards the tip of my toenail, and then I start blending it out. And then I did use a, probably a little bit too much poly gel. I definitely could have left it, but I like my toenails not to be super thick. So I'm just going to drag the product all the way down and then I'm gonna cut off the excess with the little spatula part of the poly gel brush. And then once I removed that, I'm gonna go ahead and pat it in a little bit and then do it once more just to make sure that I fully removed any excess that I do not want. And then with the spatula part, I am going underneath my toenail as well just in case some poly gel went underneath. Once I am content with the application, I'm gonna go ahead and just clean up the cuticle area with my brush, just so that it's nice and rounded and I don't have any little areas that are on my skin. I'm gonna go ahead and cure that in the light. I'm using my Young Nails Light for this. It's the one that I keep at my house. I have different ones as well, so I just kind of grab whatever one is right there on hand and I took off the bottom portion so that I can easily cure my toes without getting my foot on the bottom portion of the light. It's definitely really hard to like slip your foot in any light. So definitely recommend just take the bottom off, makes your life easier. Now I'm gonna go in with white gel polish from Profiles Backstage. You guys, this is my absolute favorite. It's super, super opaque. You could definitely just use one coat and it is beautiful, but I always like to do two coats. So I'm gonna go in with this first layer, very carefully applying that. And of course I had to have some spill and then I'm just gonna be placing that in the light for a full minute. It is very, very pigmented and very opaque, so you wanna make sure you are fully curing it in between layers. So again, we're gonna be curing that in the light for a full minute. Now, once it is out of the light and fully dry, I'm going in with my second layer. Basically the same thing, starting at the cuticle, bringing it down towards the tip, 
very very carefully try not to get it on my skin i feel like because it's super pigmented it's really really hard to clean up so i'm trying to be extra careful during this process And then again, we're gonna cure once more and then we're gonna top coat those toenails. I realized that I had a little bit of spillage so I just took my nail and kind of scraped at it to clean it up a little bit. We're gonna be placing it in the light for a full minute. And then once we're out, I'm taking my stain resistant top coat from Young Nails. This top coat does crack on gel polish but because it's on my toes, I feel like it still serves a great purpose. Even though it cracks, it doesn't affect my toenails at all whatsoever. They still don't get stained. You just get tiny little cracks. So do note that if you notice it, I feel like it's completely normal. This top coat is meant for acrylic extensions or builder gel extensions and it works really well on poly gel as well. So do not think you're doing anything wrong. It's just the product itself. So then I ended up finding some lint-free wipes, so I went ahead and took that and used it with some alcohol once again, cleaned off the surface. All of the products that I just placed on my toenails have a tacky layer, so I wanna make sure that I remove that before I go in and file. And now we're just gonna go ahead and file that poly gel toenail. Make sure that it is nice and smooth, and for today's video, I'm just gonna go ahead and hand file it. I feel like I did pretty good with making the cuticle area nice and flush without having to file it. So personally, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it like that. You can absolutely go ahead and make it even more flush, but I'm not that concerned. And like I said, we're on a time crunch, so we gotta rush through this. I'm just gonna go ahead and file it until I am content, filing the sides as well, just to square that up a little bit more, flatten it and smooth it out. Now, if you ever notice that your gel polish application just messed up your shape, I would always recommend to go in with the hand file and just clean it up very carefully. So I'm going in with my hand file again and just filing the tip of the toenail and you can see the difference that it really makes. There's like little areas that stick out further than the actual toenail. So all you're gonna do is file it very carefully and you can really see on my little toe the difference that it makes. Always recommend that. And then we're gonna go in once again with some lint-free wipes and clean the surface of my toenails. And just look at that. I love a good white crisp toenail, but for the purpose of my videos, I feel like I need to change it up. And I have been trying to do some toenail art for you guys. We're gonna be doing a very simple look, but super, super cute. Very beginner friendly. I'm gonna be using these beautiful, stunning decals for this video. We're starting off with a big butterfly and then I'm going in with some Louis Vuitton little decals. I've been wanting to do like some sort of brand design. So here we are. Some Louis Vuitton it is. I basically every time I'm doing like layered decals, I take forever. It honestly takes me a really long time because I like to make sure that everything is gonna look super flawless and just perfectly layered. So you're gonna see me throughout this entire process pick out a tiny decal and just kind of hover it over using my tweezers until I am content with how it would look. So that's a really cool part about using decals. You don't have to worry about drawing it on there and then not liking the position or where you applied it and have to remove it. I honestly would cry. So using decals just eliminates that fear. We're gonna go ahead and place it wherever we feel it looks good. And that's why I kind of just hover it over the area until I am happy with how it's going to look. And I'm gonna do that with all the other little decals that I'm placing on it. So the vision that I had was uh, black accents with some colors because it is summertime and we want some color in our life. And I decided to go with black, orange, and pink. That's always my go-to combo. And then I'm taking another small butterfly again, kind of hovering it over. I wanted to change the position of it. So we're just flipping and turning until I'm happy. 
and then I go ahead and just press it in and you want to make sure that all of the little edges of the decal is fully pressed down and flush to your nail again doing the same process over and over again until I am content with it, it it's a process you guys I feel like I want it to look good so I'm making sure that I'm not gonna regret it these decals once they are on your toenail you have to file it off it is not easy to remove it and then for that one I felt like it could have a little black accent right there so I'm actually gonna press it in and then I'm gonna hold the part of the toenail and then I'm just gonna yank off the rest of it as you can see kind of just pulling it off and then I'm taking my buffer and buffing the tip just to make sure that there's no excess hanging off of the tip and that's basically it make sure you press it all in very well I'm taking my stain resistant top coat once again making sure that I'm fully coating that toenail curing it in the light and then I'm going in with a second layer on this specific toenail because we have those decals and I want to make sure that it is fully secured on my toenail and none of it is going to chip off. And of course, I'm just placing it in the light for a full minute in between layers. I can feel your presence leaning on the change in my heart for your endeavors. I pray I'm your reflection. I fiend for your correction. The cross brought the connection in through Jesus' perfection. Like I went ahead and applied some at the tip of my toenail as well just to make sure that that last little decal wasn't going to chip off. I'm taking a lint-free wipe and a little bit more alcohol, cleaning that tacky layer off. I'm just going over all my other toes. We're adding my favorite Profiles Backstage Cuticle Oil. This is the one that I keep at my house, so do not worry. I do not put this on my client's hands. I'm going to go ahead and just rub it in. But that basically concludes today's video. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned a ton. And I'll see you guys next time. Make it through if it takes a song night No matter what the odds may bring I